Salas, today I'm going to be showcasing a new tech that Rick has in multiverses that I'm going to be calling the Meeseek Slide. Now the Meeseek Slide is very easy to pull off actually. All you have to do is summon a Meeseek and either dodge or jump. And what will happen is you'll see that the Meeseek gets stuck in this position where he's just chilling there. And upon the next summoning of a Meeseek, he will move forwards. Now I think this tech is useful for a few things. Let's say you're over here scrapping on a stage fighting with you know your opponent and you're in singles and your opponent's not really expecting anything to be coming from the side uh, because it still comes from off screen and allows Rick to do some pretty uh, good things for mix-ups and uh, some really interesting combo extensions on certain stages. I think this, is, this tech is especially good for Chromalons, which is the stage that was added right before Rick got in the game, and Old Man Jenkins Mansion, which is the Scooby-Doo stage in the game. I think this is most useful for when um, you're trying to get a, a kill and you're off, uh, you want to be off stage and you want to send your opponent some orgy with the Meeseeks uh, for a kill kind of like that. Um, but it also has two other uses that I want to talk about here. I think it's really good for stage control. If I Meeseek slide it already and I have a Meeseek on stage like this, and let's say I'm in doubles specifically, uh, and I want to have a lot more stage control, well now I have this kind of entire area that just has active hitboxes going around. Now this can be done without the Meeseek slide of course, but I think it's just really uh, easy to do when you already have your portal set up and you have a Meeseek just kind of standing there already and you're like, oh, well, let's just have that area kind of locked down. Now one thing that should be noted about the Meeseeks is they still can be destroyed by opponents uh, if they take enough damage. I'm not sure what that damage range is exactly. They will stay around forever if they are not damaged or launched in a certain direction. And the final use case I think that Meeseek sliding is most useful for is if your opponent is off stage in doubles, you can edge guard them by putting a Meeseeks through the portal and uh, choosing a direction that you want to go to if you want to hit them towards that way without having to commit to an option yourself, being on stage, being more vulnerable. This is most useful in doubles mainly because you might actually have a portal up here that is in fact already set up. So from across the stage you can just, if you already have these portals set up and you see your allies off stage, it's a lot easier to actually utilize uh, the Meeseeks that way than if you're doing it in singles. I decided to call this tech the Meeseeks Slide because Meeseeks canceling is a bit of a mouthful and I think Meeseeks Slide just sounds funnier. <laughs> but I haven't seen anyone talk about this tech yet and I think it's really useful in certain situations and if a player better than me was able to actually master this, very useful tool in their kit. Because just having a, a projectile that you can summon from wherever you want on the stage at any point is just really useful. One final thing to be noted about the Meeseeks Slide is if you Meeseeks Slide two Meeseeks at the same time, neither of them will do anything uh, and you can't have more than two Meeseeks on the stage at one time. So if I want to launch my next Meeseeks, the first one will in fact go away. So I hope to see this tech utilized in a lot more games going forward, especially in doubles where I think this tech is going to be especially useful. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I stream about three days a week and uh, I'm going to be trying to post a lot more YouTube videos going forward. And don't forget to stay crispy. Peace.